Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and this video is copying a design inside of Autodesk Vault. Here we're going to take the jig shown in this picture and copy it as if we were going to use it to make a new component. So I start with the assembly inside of my Vault Explorer where I've located it, and inside of my file portion I'm going to right click and choose Copy Design. That opens up my wizard where I can see that the yellow icon show me the parts that I'm going to reuse and the blue double plus icon indicates the files that I'm going to copy, make new components out of that is. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I copy all the components I intend to change. In this case I need to add the jig base as a part to be copied because this is what I intend to ultimately stretch out. Now I can choose the destination directory and I just select that as uh, a folder. Now that'll affect the location for all the parts that I'm going to copy but if I want some finer control I can change that on a per file basis if I want to. If I want to go ahead and reuse that directory in multiple locations I can use control A to select all and then control C for copy and control V for paste. Just a little tip that might help speed up the process if you do choose to do this on a one-to-one -one basis with destination directories. Now I can also change my file name. So here I'm taking the file names and giving them prototype jig as an example and I'm using that copy all copy and paste trick to change the uh, drawings and presentations and so on as well. And I'll go ahead and finish up my last few components right here. And now that I'm satisfied with everything I can go ahead and tell Vault OK, and it'll copy the assembly, maintaining the associations to all the files as it copies the files it needs to copy and reuses the parts I told it to reuse. So now with that done, I can go ahead and see that there's my destination directory and some new directories, and I can also see I made a couple of mistakes. I didn't want those extra subfolders in here. Should that ever happen to you, you can just drag and drop inside of Vault Explorer move the files to where you want those files to be moved and no links will be broken that's part of Vault's design so no worries if you made a mistake when you did the copy you can just move the files around later and now I can just delete the extra folders and there's my new design and that's it thank you very much everybody have a great one